Welcome back, welcome back, Birdman Drugsters, on this a Friday. Friday, previously, in my old life, back in the days, it's my favorite day of the week. Typically, Friday would have been payday. Payday, normally, go out and cause all kinds of mayhem with said paycheck, but as life's gone on, that's 20s, 18-year-old, 19-year-old, 25-year-old, 29-year-old Birdman, that was his favorite day. Current day Birdman at age 40. Unk, my new favorite day is Sunday. Sunday's best day. Got a wife and a kid now. I have the day off of work. And my dealership I work at is closed. So I get to spend time with my wife and, and my little baby. So uh, it's my new favorite day of the week, but that's neither here nor there. I'm here to talk about the <laughs> disgusting draft pick that I saw last night that everybody knew it wasn't a shocker. We all knew it was going to happen. I'm actually being a Boston Celtics fan and was hoping the Celtics had one pick right before the Lakers in the second round that the Celtics would draft LeBron James Jr. just to inconvenience the Lakers and LeBron James. Think about it. Who are the Celtics' two biggest rivals current day? LeBron James. LeBron James did not get us out of the playoffs every year back in the day when he was uh, in Cleveland for the most part, when he came back at least. Um, we beat him early on in his career, but once, once he started winning, uh, went to Miami, went back to Cleveland, he took us out plenty of times in the playoffs. And the Lakers, we hate the Lakers. Lakers knocked us out of uh, championship multiple times, beat us in NBA Finals, and the hated Lakers. So you hate LeBron if you're the Celtics. You hate, um, you also hate the Lakers. So why wouldn't you draft LeBron James Jr. and then you could you could like kind of be like, listen, you want you want your son on the team? No problem. We want a number one draft pick next year in return. Give us your number one pick, or maybe two years down the road. Even three years down the road. Get a number one pick back for LeBron James Jr. Flip that late second round pick, which is almost undrafted status, and flip that into a first round pick in the future. But Celtics, to my disappointment, did not do that. Instead, they took a uh, dude that I Googled a picture of him. I can't pronounce his name, but he kind of. I looked at him, I said, damn, they're trying to draft like a Larry Bird. He's like the same height as Larry Bird. Uh, you know, he's just, he looks like like a Larry Bird, like uh, 2024, you know, just the looks of him. So no mustache yet, but maybe he'll get a mustache and maybe he'll turn into Larry Bird. But uh, I would have rather got the LeBron James Jr. pick, traded it for a future first round pick, bada bing, bada boom. We hustle the Lakers, we inconvenience them. We hustle LeBron, LeBron's son, inconvenience the whole family. Um, and as a Celtics, you know, that's what you should be aiming for is to win championships and step on the throat of your competition, like the Lakers, like LeBron James. And if this kid gets caught up in the crossfire and you, <laughs> you inconvenience his career, no big deal because the biggest problem is this kid shouldn't even be in the NBA to begin with other than the simple fact that his dad is LeBron James, one of the best players of all time. Definitely not the greatest of all time. Hell, Michael Jordan uh, 6-0 in the finals, LeBron James has a losing record in the finals, yeah, he's gotten there more times, but you can't get there and then come up short in the end, it's time after time, like LeBron's done, and claim GOAT status, GOAT status is, is undefeated, 6-0, and um, there's something to be said for, you know, Jordan must have gotten eliminated from the playoffs, earlier in the playoffs, uh, more times than LeBron, right, so he got knocked out before the finals, uh, early in his career, quite often by like the Detroit Pistons, the Celtics would take him out, uh, but once he got over the hump, there was no beating him. So LeBron, once he got over the hump, he was still beatable. Uh, look at the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, Dallas Mavericks beat him in that championship. It was a big upset. And then he finally won it the next year. But he had such a stacked team that it was going to be hard to not win the championship that year. And he was at the peak of his uh, basketball powers back in his Miami Heat days. And as a Celtics fan, I also hate the Miami Heat for what they did to us two seasons ago. We are up, down 3-0, came back game seven, and then we lost in game seven. Tatum got hurt. We might be back-to-back -back championships, if not for that Jason Tatum injury. But uh, if ifs were fifths, we'd all be drunk. That's a saying that I like. If ifs were fifths, we'd all be drunk, which means, you know, they don't mean shit is what it means. It means, um, like, today could be Sunday, but it ain't. You know, that's what I tell. So I want to tell my customers at the dealership sometimes. Be like, yeah, but if this or if that, what if this? And I was like, yeah, it could be Sunday, but it's not. You know, I wish I could say that. I, Maybe one day I'll, I'll get the uh, the gusto to say that to a customer. Then they'll probably, you know, you don't want to get in trouble. But I would love to say that to a customer someday. It could be Sunday, but it's not. Maybe in, I'll get the right opportunity. Uh, but hopefully I can sell a car today. I got a couple appointments coming in. Bada bing, bada boom. That'll be good. And then we got Dunkin' Coffee getting fired up here for the day. 
we'll see. Oh, yeah, that's right. The LeBron James Jr. thing. That's like, you know, just your dad's great player. So you're now got a free ticket in the NBA, taking the spot of a more deserving player. Uh, so that's, uh, I don't like that. And I, I really hate LeBron James because I'm a Celtics fan too. So it's like, of course, I'm not going to co-sign any of that shit. Um, then you got last night, the freaking, the Biden versus Trump presidential election. Oh my God. What did I watch last night? That dude needs to be in a retirement community. Biden should be in a retirement community where they like, they change his diaper, they feed him, they wipe him up. Cause you know, if he's eating pudding, he's making a mess. They got to clean him up, change his diaper. That dude, he needs to be like in a retirement community. And Trump is old too, but Trump's like uh, more mentally there to say the least. Whether you love Trump or hate him, right? He's a good businessman or whatever. Uh, in the country since Biden has taken over, it's completely tanked and has gone into the toilet. And he was, last night, he's like, the country is doing better than it's ever been. He's like, nobody's done more veterans in American history than I've done. No one's done more for the veterans than me. And like Biden was just spewing like obvious lies. And that's when he could actually get his sentences through and across without losing his train, 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 train of thought. A thousand trillion. He said a thousand trillion. He said there's a, a thousand trillionaires in America. Biden said there's a thousand trillionaires in America. Then he corrected himself. He goes, ah, a thousand billionaires. But I, it's wild to think this guy who's supposedly running the country. Who's really running the country? Uh, corporations, obviously. But uh, to think that some people think that don't know any better that Joe Biden like runs the country. Watch last night's freaking debate and tell me if that dude that dude can't run his household never mind the state or a city or a town or a country that dude couldn't run a fucking uh, boy scout camp not that you want joe biden running any sort of boy scout camp uh and then and then it's like damn that's uh that's what's coming down to you know we got like a 50 50 shot it's it's the finals you know if it's sports it's the finals it's trump is back in the finals right they're trying to suspend him for the game and then uh biden's back in the finals like by default just like lebron james jr got a free ticket into the into the nba joe biden's got a free ticket to run back as president and the dude can't even speak <laughs> and man and then they're talking about the ukraine and all that man it's just wild they're all like yeah they, thanks biden thanks for sending billions and billions of dollars to the ukraine from my hard-earned uh, tax money. Appreciate you.